Hey everyone, today in this video tutorial we will learn how to use the wrapper link in Elementor. Before you start, make sure that you have installed and activated Elementor and Essential add-ons on your website. First, you need to activate the EA wrapper link extension. For that, go to the extension tab from Essential add-ons. Toggle the wrapper link button and click on save settings. Now, open a page in Elementor and click on the dots above the section you added. Next, click on wrapper link and toggle the enable wrapper link button. Enter the link where you want to direct the visitors when they click on the section. You can use the wrapper link for individual widgets as well. Click on the widget and move to the advanced tab. Now, like before, simply click on the wrapper link and toggle the enable wrapper link button. Place the URL that you want to link with the widget. You can also use the wrapper link for columns. For that, click on edit column and move to the advanced tab. Click on the wrapper link drop down, toggle to enable it as before and enter the URL accordingly in the link field. Now, let's check how the wrapper link works with the Elementor Flexbox container. From your WordPress dashboard, go to the Elementor tab. Move to the Features tab now. Change the status of the Flexbox container from default to active and hit the Save Settings button. Now, click on the container on your page and move to the Advanced tab. Click on Wrapper Link and toggle the Enable Wrapper Link button. Place the URL in the link field and you are all set. Let's have a look how the Essential Add-ons Wrapper Link extension works on your website. Thus, you can easily use a wrapper link on your website. Wasn't that easy? Feel free to share your thoughts and to get more easy tutorials like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.